Well, my stereo receiver decided to take a dump on me last night. I believe I've actually showed you this before. This is a realistic Radio Shack model STA-64 AM FM stereo receiver with the usual phono input and auxiliary input and tape recorder input and output jacks. This is a 16 watt per channel receiver and was introduced in 1977 and sold for around $239. Well, last night I was listening to a CD on this, and then the CD finished, and I was doing something at the computer, and didn't think to get up and turn everything off, and then all of a sudden I heard this loud buzz that sounded like bad filter capacitor hum, and then today I turned it on, and it worked fine, and I slapped the cabinet, and it started buzzing again, so that tells me it's got a loose connection. So let's see what we can make it do. Well, it's not it's not cooperating now, but that's the symptom we have. So let's open it up and see if we can determine what's wrong with it. Okay, here's the culprit right here, this electrolytic filter capacitor. me to do that over to them. See when I move it, hum goes away. So that's either a bad solder connection or an intermittent connection inside the capacitor. Let's try re-soldering it first. Well apparently it wasn't a solder connection issue. doing the same thing and now wiggling the capacitor has no effect so now we're gonna pull the capacitor out and check it okay the original capacitor is definitely bad uh, the original one let's see is a 4700 microfarad 35 volts I have a 220 microfarad substituted but that's too small but it's good enough for a test and as you can see on the capacitor meter, it's pretty much dead. And I think what I'm going to do before I even put this back in the cabinet, I'm just going to recap this and be done with it because I don't want to be fooling around with pulling this thing in and out of the cabinet every time something goes wrong. Yeah, you don't hear that one much on the radio anymore. But that's the college station. They play a wider variety of music than the usual big boy crap station. But you can see what happens when I disconnect this. So that proves that this capacitor is bad. Okay, I'll end this video now and I'll make another video once I get the correct parts that I need and I'll show it to you again when it's up and running properly. Okay, thanks for watching and more to come later. Apparently this old capacitor had an intermittent connection inside because if you remember I was able to wiggle it the first time and the hum would go away but re-soldering it didn't solve the problem. It just actually made it worse, so that tells me this cap is intermittently open. And if you'll look here, looks kind of cruddy on the bottom. I know some of that's probably glue that physically held it to the PC board, but it looks kind of a little bit swollen a little bit. And I can feel the top is feels like it's trying to swell up a little bit so there you go you'll see this again when it's up and running thanks for watching and more to come later